Good morning, children. I hope you had a wonderful night. And we thank the Lord for giving us another day where we will be glad and we will rejoice in this day that the Lord has given us. Before we start our lesson, I will ask us to open in prayer. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Father, for being a good God. Thank you, Lord, for taking care of us throughout the night. And now we are awake. We are ready to hear what you want to tell us, Lord Jesus, from your word. Help us to hear it, understand it, and do it. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Amen. I'd like to greet every one of you. I hope that you will enjoy the lesson today and you will learn from it. We get our lesson today from 1 King 17, from verse 1 to 6. We know that the lesson we get from the Bible, and we're going to hear about prophet Elijah that was fed by ravens. Ravens are birds. Wow, it's going to be a nice story. So now we hear that um, there was a king called King Ahab. And King Ahab was a king that ruled Israel for 22 years. And it was sad to hear that he never listened to God. He never did anything that God told him to do. He never listened to the prophet. He never listened to anyone. He just did everything bad. We hear that he even worshipped Baal. Baal is a statue where they worship instead of worshipping the living God. And God was angry with him and he was not happy. And you know always when a king is evil, he makes the people of God to be evil as well. So now, prophet Elijah was a prophet in the time of King Ahab. So now we hear God send Elijah to tell the king that because he's not listening to him, he's not doing what he should do, he will stop the rain from falling for several years. And we know that when there's no rain, there's no food. So now, king didn't want to listen. He kept doing wrong. Prophet Elijah went to the king and said, God said there won't be any rain for several years. For sure, it stopped raining. And the Bible says that there won't be even dew. You know what a dew is? A dew is, it's not rain, but it's like a mist. Then when it lands on the ground, what we see is that now the ground gets wet. And through that, a lot of people who, who stays in places where there's a lot of dew, they know how to collect the water from the dew. So even the dew was not going to be there. So it means that it's going to be very dry. And when it's dry, the ground cannot give us food. So there, was, there wouldn't be any food. So now we hear of Elijah. God said to Elijah, you go and hide yourself because he knew that the king might want to kill him. So now he told him that he must go east and he must go by the place called um, Cherith. And then there, there's a little stream. A stream, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's not a river, it's very small, but there is water that it goes there. So he said that there will be a stream and he will send birds to come and feed him. For sure, because he trusts God. He went and then he went by that place by the by Jordan that's where he was so he stayed there and for sure by morning the birds came they brought him bread he ate and he drank from the stream and by night they did the same and as the time went the stream dried up so there was no more water so he told him that you stand up and you go I will send a woman that will feed you. So he went. As he was going, he saw a woman that was collecting wood. You know, long time ago, they didn't have electricity like us, that they would go to the wall and switch on the wall. They used to go and collect wood if they want to make food or if they want to warm water. So that's how they kept themselves warm. So now this woman was collecting wood. So now as he was collecting wood, 
man of God saw him and said to the woman, woman, can I have a glass of water? And the woman says, I will give you. So he, as she went to go get the glass of water, she, uh, the, the prophet said, also give me some bread. And the woman said, I have no bread. The only thing we have is a small flour and a little bit of oil. I'm collecting wood to make fire so I can cook the food for me and my son. And after we eat, we can die. He says, go and do as you were going to do. Make the bread. But before you make for you and your son, make for me first. The woman went and he took the flour and the oil and he made the little cake and he took to prophet Elijah and he ate. And he said, now go make for you and your son. We read in the Bible that the flour and the oil didn't end. The woman kept making bread every day. And every day when he went to fetch the flour and the oil, there was always. So now he made food for many days for, for her son and prophet Elijah. God provided for them. We know that when God says things to us, he always comes through. When he gives us a promise, he keeps his promise. God wants us to do what he tells us. But how do we know what is there that he wants us to do? He wants us to read his word. God wants us to read the Bible. The Bible is where all the instructions, is where all this is a word of God. God tells us what he wants us to do in his word. So I trust that you will, you are reading your Bible. If you are not, or oh, maybe you cannot read yet, it's okay. You can ask mommy or daddy, or can ask your big brother or your big sister, which can read, and then they can read to you the word of God. And you can hear what God wants you to do. Once you do that, God will be happy with you. Because he says that the one that are not doing his word, he will punish them. And we don't want God to punish us. That is why we want to know what God wants us to do. And how are we going to know that? By reading the word of God. There's a song that we used to sing even when I was in Sunday school that says, Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you will grow, grow, grow. If you want to grow in knowing the Lord, you need to read your Bible and you need to pray every day. And God will let you know that he's happy with you. And God will provide and God will take care of you and God will will make you grow in knowing him. As young as you are, you can learn to know and grow in God. Thank you very much for listening to the lesson. I hope you will do as God wants you to do. Amen.